This is the plaintiff, Dejanay. She says she watched the defendant's daughter overnight so she could put her on the school bus in the morning with her child because the defendant went to work at four in the morning. At around one o'clock in the morning, her entire living room was on fire. The defendant's daughter deliberately set her couch on fire. And she comes to find out this wasn't the first time she's done this. The defendant then gave her an attitude about paying her back for her damages. And she's suing this guy for every penny of the $5,000 she's owed. This is the defendant, Paul Cephas. He says the plaintiff was supposed to be babysitting his eight-year-old daughter. After all, that's what she was getting paid for. She wasn't giving proper supervision and is now trying to take him to the cleaners for a little bit of damage. Bottom line, the plaintiff left a lighter out in plain sight of his child. And she should have known better because she's a mother herself and sometimes kids do dumb things. He's accused of igniting a lawsuit. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says she was helping the defendant out when the defendant's daughter started a fire in the house, actually started the couch, lit the couch on fire. But the defendant says the plaintiff didn't supervise his daughter properly by leaving a lighter near her. It's the case of light me up. Thank you, D Douglas. Okay, Dijanae, you've asked us not to use your last name. You're suing Paul Cephas, your neighbor, uh, for $5,000 in damages that you say you are out as a result of uh, something his daughter, what's your name? Paula. Paula did while in your care. Tell me what happened. Um, so I was watching Paula um, because Paul is a single father. Um, that I thought that was really a stand up. He's a single black father. So he had to go to work um, about five o'clock in the morning. So he would um, bring her down to my house about three or two in the morning which I have two young children and it was interrupting their sleep. So I told him to start bringing her down around eight o'clock so that you know all the children can be in bed and fed and ready so that I can get them up for um, school in the morning. How old are your kids? My daughter is one, she's premature. Um, she just came back from the hospital not too long ago and my son is eight as well. Okay, and do they go to the same school? They don't go to the same school. We all live in the same building. Right. And I put the children on the bus in the morning. Okay, so go on. So um, she had asked me to go to bed at 10 o'clock. And I had told her that that was just too late for children to go to bed. Um, so she had, you know, she was a little testy. So I just told her, don't worry about it. Go to sleep. We'll talk about it in the morning. Um, so she wakes me up about 1 a.m. in the morning. Um, I let her sleep on the couch in my living room. I have a two bedroom. And she told me that she smells smoke. Um, that alarmed me. Um, I went into the living room and the entire living room was on fire. So at that time I panicked. But when you say you know, the whole living room was on fire, can yes. you describe more specifically? Um, when I turned the corner, um, there was nothing but flames. So there's my room, my son's room, and then there's like a hallway, and then my living room goes in. So as I turn the corner, I see flames. I, I see the couches on fire, the floor, the walls, the ceiling. I thought that I was gonna lose everything. I was very scared. I, I thought that we were going to be hurt. So I immediately yeah. wanted to get all the so children out of the house. So what happens, the fire department gets there. So the fire department, they come, um, they were asking me, um, who was in the living room? Who was in the living room? And I say, well, the little girl was in the living room. And the firefighter, he says, well, what little girl? You say this as if this is, isn't your child. I said, it isn't. It's my neighbor's child that I was watching. And um, he said, well, bring the little girl downstairs. Get her here now. So they, they come downstairs. And the firefighter is like, what did you do? What did you use? What did you do? And I'm like, well, wait a minute. At this point, I assumed that it was electrical. So I'm like, well, wait a minute, hold on. You know, I don't, you know, I didn't want him to be, you know, yelling at this little girl. Um, because I do care about her. I do. Um, so I said, well, what's going on? He said, well, this little girl set the couch on fire with this. And at the point, he pulled out um one of those long lighters that you would use to light the stove or the barbecue, which was in my kitchen drawer, inside the drawer. No one smokes. There weren't any lighters around. 
So she's very adamant. I didn't do it. Of course she was scared. I'm, I'm scared with her. We're all scared at the point. So she's saying, I didn't do it. No, I didn't do it. And he's yelling at her, her father, Paul, is saying, tell them what you did. I know you did it again. Tell them what you did. I know you did it. Admit that you did it. And at this point, I'm shocked because I'm saying to myself, well, what do you mean she did it again? Or tell them what, what you did. What did you mean she did it again? I don't remember saying none of that. I don't remember Has saying she, she done did this it before? again. She have played with fire before, but I never said that she Has did she that again. Has she ever set anything on fire? Yes, she have. She have How played many with times? matches. Um, once when she was with her mother, um, some, some teller paper, um, some more paper. She toilet paper. How paper. many times has she done that? She did it twice. She had done it twice. Did you ever tell her that before you put the child in her care? At the time, it was in the length of time that she had done it. It hadn't happened. Hadn't until, happened in how long? Well, she was staying with her mother, I, I, I guess, about a, a while, because she was with Can her mother. Can you tell me how long was the last time that it had happened? Well, her mother told me this. Uh, she's probably about, about five years old or something like that. So according to you, the last time she had done it was three years earlier? I, I, I guess when she was probably about five. Like I said, I don't really know. I just know her mother said she had played with... Um, the stove. That's what she said. She played Paula? with the stove. How old are you? Nine. Do you know the difference between telling a lie and telling the truth? Yes. If I said that this robe was red, would I be telling a lie or telling the truth? You would tell a lie. Right. What happened? What happened was I was looking for my deodorant and the light, it was on, but I couldn't really see under the couch because it was dark. So, I saw a lighter. Where was the lighter? It was like by, um, by the light, but it was like on the box. But if it's dark, how can you see it? No, it was by the light, so I could see. It. So now the light was on. So what'd you do with the lighter? Yeah, it was on, but it wasn't like bright enough so I could see under the couch. Okay. I just saw the I saw the lighter, so I I got down and so I was looking for my deodorant and the fire touched the couch. I try I try to blow I'm it sorry. out. I'm sorry. What are you saying? That you took the lighter in order to find your deodorant? Yes. Paula. Yes. Do you know the difference between a lie and yes. the truth? Yes. Because I think you lit it on fire because it's fun to watch, no. especially if you've done it before. Okay? I don't think you were looking for any deodorant at one in the morning. And what you need to understand, Paula, is that you're not only gonna hurt yourself one of these days, you're gonna hurt a whole lot of other people, and then you're gonna wish you hadn't done it, but it'll be too late. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? So you can't do this. I think that it's giving you a thrill to see the flame. And you're gonna have to find another avenue for your thrill besides actually setting a flame, because you're gonna hurt somebody someday. Now, Dad, I, I know you're doing like the best that you can, but tell me what you're doing. After this happened, have you looked through social services or any other way? Yes, 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 okay. we, we, we go to therapy. She have a therapist. Since she's this? Th yes, she's, okay. had to, she, she's been had a therapist. This is on the table when she, when we go to the therapist. Okay, so she already had a therapist. Yes, we right. let this, um, this issue be known to the therapist. We talk about it. She go to therapy every week. Okay. So, you know, it's not like um, I've taken away from therapy. This is what we use. Right, right. Does she have contact with the mom? Mom's just doing what she do, you know? Got it. What ended up happening? So they control the fire. <clears throat> it doesn't spread to the other, bill, uh, to the other apartments, no. right? Um, they contained it. How did they contain it? Well, while I had the kids waiting, I should not have, but I mean, I was just so scared that I was going to lose everything. I started throwing water um, inside to contain it, but they came very quickly and they um, extinguished. With um, water or something else? With the water. Do you have pictures? Um, I do. Can I see the pictures? Sure. Paula, why do you set stuff on fire? It's just... <laughs> is it exciting? You like how it looks? What is it? I just want to see 
What it's could what? happen? I just want to see what could happen. You want to see what can happen. Has anything bad ever happened? Mm -mm. Do you understand that something really, really bad could and probably will happen? Yes. You're not going to do this again, right? No. Because you got a lot of people who love you and are rooting for you, including her. Even after... I would still... I even told him that I would still watch her. Right. So how did I get here then? Because you two were <laughs> trying to work it out and negotiate. Um, Oy. <laughs> so it had gotten that bad because I had told him, I, I mean, you know, maybe we can work together to probably paint... Um, sand the floors, do everything, because I understand that he's a single father. I'm, you know, I'm a mom, I get it, you know? So I thought that we can probably work something out together, um, but the management stepped in and they definitely wanted to make their own repairs. Sure. Um, so he was upset by that. He but said that I was have, trying to take him to the bank. She can't control that. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Say it again. Um, I said, I understand. She said management wanted certain, certain things done. Okay, I did my part. I gave her towards what she said management How wanted. How much did you give her? It was 350 Because management, she said management wanted these things done. But what is your defense, um, Mr. Cephas, if you know that there have been prior instances of this, why wouldn't you tell her that? Because, see, normally, she's in charge of your kid. And, um, and so I... She, what? So if she's in charge of my kid, what is she doing sleep? At 1 o'clock right. in the morning? No, I got 12 o'clock, 12 or 1. She texted me, told me to come get my daughter. Well, wh okay, but why is your daughter one, awake at 12.01, though? Well, and how can she control if your daughter wakes she's up? Getting kids. She's in the no, but she says she told your daughter, go to sleep. And if your daughter gets up and does something, but how... Yana. Yeah. Yana. Me, I don't even, me, I don't go to sleep until she sleeps. Right, and so she's okay. sleeping, and then she gets up and does something. What are you going to do? But How it's are... not 1 o'clock in the morning. This okay, so is it's 12 o'clock. But, okay, now this is what I'm saying. I understand. Like I said, I don't condone her playing with the fire. I don't condone it. That's why I said I'm willing to help you. Right, but fix why don't you give house. a person a fighting chance and let them know that she's lit stuff on fire twice before? Because this was this was she's about five. Because years I'll tell old, you why. Because then she man, says, "I'm man. sorry, your daughter can't stay here." But I'm willing to. I said from the start, I'm willing. When we went downstairs, I am willing to help you, you put your house back sense. together. I understand. I said that. Now, when I'm trying to do, like, we come to an understanding. I'm willing. I don't have a whole lot of money to help you with your home. She said, it's "Cool." I understand. Understand we're parents. Okay, when are we parents? I understand. She's a kid, kids do these things. I says, okay. I said, well, I'm just starting to go back to work. That's why my daughter was down there. Okay, I says, now listen, like I said, I don't have a lot of money. I don't have a lot, I can't do a whole lot of this other other stuff. She says, cool. I'm not gonna try to kill your pockets. Cool. I said, I know how to do the floor and everything. I've been to school for that. I know how to do that. I said, I could take care of that. No, but what choice does... Hold on, if hold, it's your management, why didn't you try to talk them into letting but, you do Hold that? on, Your Honor. Hold on. She tells me, we need to talk. So I says, okay, I'm giving... I got text messages. Okay, when? What time? Every time the time comes, she's not showing up. Now, what's going on? What's going on? When I finally did get to see her, she comes out of her house... Straight out of nowhere, look, listen, we're not doing it your way because she got an attitude. She got an attitude with me for some whatever reason it is. I didn't know what the reason was. All I know is I'm coming down to talk to her about... Is this after or before you paid this, her 350 This is before the pay to the 350 oh. She hit me with the attitude. How long after the fire was it? It was after, it was a week after the fire. Me and her father had to talk. He told me, don't worry, he said, for now on, Talk to me. I run that in there. You talk to me. I said, cool, great. I wanted to talk to you from the beginning. He said, I was in my feelings because his daughter's house caught on fire. Is that I said, I wish. you tried to fight him or after? This is the, what no. do you mean, fight him? He tried to no, fight I, my father. No, Your Honor, we was in the hallway. We was you in see the, how he's acting he's now? He's lying. She's That's lying. Exactly this is why I'm wait. getting upset, Your Honor, because okay. she's lying. She's okay. over there lying. You're going to have to stop talking right now. What happened with him, according to you, trying to fight your father? So, my dad has spoken to him, and he said, you know what, my daughter's going through too much. You're not doing what you have to do. You're speaking to her, you know, disrespectfully, and you shouldn't. When, when you do something like that, you humble yourself. 
Yeah, kind of. You humble yourself. You kinda. dish and then you tone in your voice. Kind of. Now, yeah, now so you, really, you really should play. You really should handle this a little bit better than Absolutely. you're handling it. Absolutely. You yeah. see? She's Paula. lying. Do you see all the stuff that she's happens? She's lying. This you see all the stuff that happens to her too. Yes, yeah. but she's lying. Right. Uh, that side's going to be quiet, and this side's going to tell me what was the problem with your father, according to you. So he was yelling in my father's face. My father tried to calm down the situation. He said, oh, I don't have money like that. I don't have money. All I can give is three, $300. And my dad was like, OK, so that's a start. When can you give it? You know, when can we set up some type of payments? Because my daughter and her children are out of their apartment. You know, so he's, ah. And then he, like, punched the wall in the hallway. And my dad said, you know what? Done. We're not going to do this anymore. My daughter's going to do what she needs to do at this point. Yana, her father, put your hands down, please. Her father punched the My wall. My father is disabled. Her father punched the wall, Your Honor. He has a walker. This is what I'm trying to tell it's you. It's a father on a walk and a walker? Her father just started walking in a walker, Your Honor. She, and, but he punched a wall? He wasn't on a walker at this time. <laughs> Your Honor, he just, I'm trying to tell you this. Did you punch a wall? Time. Me? No, he did. He, put, he turned right around. We was talking, and okay. he punched the wall. Boom. And I looked at him. I was like, yo, you need to calm down, man. Because the lady in the hallway down the, down the hall from her <laughs> brought okay. me in her home. OK, everybody's going to calm down now. Need, everybody's got, I've heard everything I need to hear. Yo, I'm going to look at the, no, we've, she gave me everybody's the done a lot of talking. The only thing I want to hear out of Paula's mouth is that this isn't ever going to happen again. Say those words. No, it's not going to happen Perfect. again. Perfect. That's it. That's the last thing I want to hear. And now I want to look at the pictures, and then I'm going to make my decision. Yana, what about I know what I don't want to hear any more from anybody else. No, what about we're the evidence done. I have? What? What about the evidence I have? What evidence could you possibly for have for on for the extent of the damage? Like, like, like you got pictures of something. She giving you pictures saying that this is what her is, and it's not. She sent me information from the fire department saying this is the estimate that my daughter has. The oh, fire. no. The fi I know what you're talking about. The fire department and the police always give a guesstimate. But they don't exactly. know. They don't know what thing. Exactly. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Listen that doesn't matter. I know it's is, much lower. But it's not I, even. That's not. I don't that's care. That, even, did you just that's, wave your hands listen, up in the air like this over what? Shh, you be quiet. Did quiet. you just go like this over what the judge said? Sit down. Sit, sit down. down. Sit down, baby. Sit down. Take it easy. Your Honor, she gave. No, me you're gonna take it easy too. Okay. So no, stop. You're right. She's right. Y'all got the wrong attitude for people who set a fire in that lady's apartment. Very wrong attitude. She doesn't have the wrong attitude. She's entitled to be angry. You guys are not entitled to be angry. Why Most of all, an eight-year-old child why, why is not entitled to be angry in my courtroom, throwing her hands in the air when she doesn't like I'm, what the I'm judge only, said. I'm only upset you because she's and your lying. daughter have to stop she's lying, interrupting Yana. me. She's Do you lying. hear me? If you can't control yourself. I know where she gets it from. So She's control. A liar. Why don't you show your daughter what it's like to control yourself? It does. But really? Because it doesn't. You're not doing hard, a very your good job. When somebody's I, lying I, on you. It doesn't matter. I'm it's telling hard. you to control yourself, and you're not doing it. It's and hard. then you're complaining that she can't control it's herself. It's hard when she's lying. Step out with your daughter. Thank you. Yeah. Come on, baby. It's hard when you're lying. And as soon as you step out, right to your left. So did the defendant have a duty to tell the plaintiff about this child's propensity for starting fires? Yeah, I think so, because she could possibly be a danger to herself or others. There you go. What do you say? Uh, I think, yeah, the dad should definitely, like, tell the family that the, ch the child is a pyromaniac because it's, it's, yeah. I'm not yeah. sure that it's that level, but it't's pretty serious. You're not. Yeah, absolutely. It's a huge liability. You know, if she's a pyro, you, you need to you got your point going inside the courtroom. Based on the evidence that I have seen, you acknowledge a 350, right? No, I do not. He never gave me any money, Judge. Did he, he give it to your father? He says he gave it to your father. He never gave anyone Wait, any money. Wait, did he give money to your father? No, he did not, Judge. He never gave any money. That's why we're here. Ask him if he has a receipt for the 350 and who he gave it to, because I don't want to bring him back in here. All right. I find in your favor in the amount of $2,500. And I will be subtracting from that the 350 If he's able to find proof, that's my verdict. Thank you, Judge. Mr. Sevis, did you hear what the judge just ordered? Yes, I heard what she said. $2,500. Yes, I heard. Obviously, you feel sorry for her, don't you? I know you're mad at her right now. I'm, you're saying I'm mad she's a liar. She's lying. Yeah. Because I was going out my way to help her fix her home. I she understand. was just greedy for I money. I understand. Paula, did you learn anything from all of this experience here in court today? Yes, I and did. And what do you think you learned? 
I learned that she's a she lied, she lied, and yeah, yeah. and I don't want to come to court anymore. You know, well, I can't blame you for not wanting to come to court. What about playing with matches and playing with firelighter? You know that's wrong. You've learned that, right? Yeah. If you learn that, you've learned something very valuable. Thank you very much, okay? You. you must sign some documents outside. Now, Dejeuner's on her way out of the courtroom. You know, I, I think you really were doing your best to try and help him. I was. Um, and that must have been a panic night for you. Absolutely. I was going to ask you if you're still caring for her, but I guess no. not anymore, huh? <laughs> Would you? There's a war going on at this point, right? Um, you know, it's just a point of it sucks, you know what I mean? Because when you try to do good, you yeah. know, this is like kind of the thanks that you get. Um, I was still going to try to help him out, but he wasn't humble enough. I mean, how disgusting is that behavior in here? How dare yeah, you speak yeah, to the judge yeah, like that? Yeah. So... Yeah. And I feel sorry for the little girl, too. I do. I ultimately feel sorry for her, and I hope she does get the help that she needs. I do. Thank you very much. All right, thank yeah. you. Nice lady. Fascinating case, Harvey. Okay, Doug, you know, you should know this, that, you know, with babysitting situations especially, if this, if a kid has a real issue that could compromise a babysitter's health or safety, uh, the parents have a duty to tell the babysitter.